This is David from your PSD Studios, and today we are going to learn how to make a multi-page application the easy way. So what I'll do is I'll start out with a blank project, WPF project. I'm going to go ahead and make a button, and clone that button a few times. All right, perfect. <clears throat> so we have our buttons. We're going to go ahead and name name them grid one, grid two. I forgot the one. Grid three, grid four. All right, and as far as their actual names, we'll just go button one. Two, three, and four. All right, so now that we have that out, we will go ahead and start setting up our actual page. And the way I, the reason I say the easy way is because this way really does just make it real simple if you're not trying to do a real complicated UI. So, how I will do it is I made a rectangle which will represent our screen area for our different grids. So this is going to be grid one. Go ahead and right click on it, make it into a grid, and call that grid one. We will turn that off. And what can we use next? Let's do a rich text box. Gotta bring that out of there. I don't know why it went into it. But let's do a rich text box. Bring this under here. And we'll go ahead and do that just to give it some content. Right click on it, group into grid. Grid 2, turn that off. We will throw a bunch of text boxes. Oh, I keep saying text boxes out here just for the sake of that. Select all those, right click, group into grid. That'll be grid three. And then we'll hide that as well. And for grid four, we will go ahead and just use an image. Let's go ahead and do that a whole section. I'm gonna go over here and select my image I wanna use. Yeah, it already exists, so there we go. Right click um <clears throat> let me actually make that a little smaller just to show let's do text size of about forty eight. click group into grid call that grid four all right so we have everything laid out we are going to go over to our buttons and go to our events click and we're going to do grid one dot visibility equals Visibility dot visible. And we 
are going to create a function up here. Void reset grids. And we will go ahead and paste this about. Uh, let's go back. Change that to hidden. Do our two, three, four. And what this is going to do is set everything back to normal. So we'll do reset grids. Copy that. And that is our button one. Button two. We'll go ahead and do the same. Change that to two. Button three. We'll go ahead and do button three. And we can always go and just make one function that sees it all as a, the event handler. But I'm going to go this way just because it literally is the easiest and you can see everything that you made a change on there with. And so now that we have that, we'll go ahead and run the program and see if it works properly. Oh, sorry, I forgot one part of that. And that will be in the initial. We're going to go ahead and set everything to show as hidden so it doesn't show any of it. So now that it is started, you can see we have our blank grid. You click on one. We have that one. We have our rich text box grid. We have our date pickers. I gotta move that out the way. And we have that. But it is a very simple way to make multi-page application without actually having to do all the multi-page part of it. So there you go. That simple. If you liked the video and had fun, click the like button, hit subscribe, and check back later for more awesome content. Have an awesome coding journey. Goodbye.